I 10x my workflow on cursor with just one setup that changed everything. This cursor setup eliminates 90% of dependency errors, build complex apps in minutes, not in hours, manage entire project context without losing focus. It's like creating the project and converting that to subtask like this. You can even check the complexity of each of the tasks which you have just created. You can even create sub sub task using the generated prompt. This flow automatically knows the next step and perform the task accordingly. So without setup like this, it takes hours to fix the dependency. Context switching kills your flow, half finished projects everywhere. But with this setup, AI manages all dependencies automatically, one cursor, one flow and pure focus. Ship complete apps in single session. This is using Claude Taskmaster, which has loads of stars and it is easy to get started. We are also going to use Olama to set up this Taskmaster and going to see how it's going to work. And this runs locally on your computer to run your Quen3 large language model. I created this task list completely using Olama and it's for free. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. By default, if you create a project, Cursor or any other AI ID such as WinSurf or VS Code doesn't have the full flow or the list of features. If you want to do it manually, you create cursor rules, create task list.mdc. So here's the playbook to automatically generate the task. I'll provide all the code in the description below. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. So this manages the task using task.md file. So what I'm going to do is like create a new file called task.md. Then going to say, I want to create CRM app, create sub toss and save it in toss and clicking send. And now the toss are created. So I can even ask cursor to follow this task and automatically tick while going through the process. And this is the manual way of doing it. It follows this cursor rule, which we have just copied and pasted it here, but still this kind of manual process. To simplify this process, we have task master. And I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create all these tasks and have the ability to create application with less errors and faster. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, go to olama.com and download olama. Next, open your terminal in your computer. And that looks like this. And I'm opening my terminal from within cursor. Even if you use WinSurf, you should be able to do the same. So go to a terminal and Olama pull Quen3 and then click enter. And that'll get downloaded. Next, npm install taskmaster AI and then click enter. That is the main taskmaster package. Now that got installed. Now you can just type taskmaster hyphen hyphen help to know the list of commands available. So parse PRD is to generate the subtask. You can update multiple tasks update a specific task, update a subtask. You can generate task files and you got much more. But to start, I'm going to type taskmaster in it and then click enter. Now just approving the request, creating all the required files. Now I need to configure the model. So in our case, I'm going to use Olama and choosing Olama here and then clicking enter. Again, Olama for all other backup models. Now I need to provide the Olama ID that is Quen3 latest. For research role, Quen3 latest, fallback, Quen3 latest. And that's it. Now it's all ready and all the models got configured. It's success. Now I need a project or a plan on what application I need to create. Now we need a project requirement document. So that is called PRD. Create PRD for my CRM application using front end and back end as Python flaws. And clicking enter. And now it creates the PRD file and it gives more in detail on the tech stack as well. So I'm going to copy this. And if you see the main folder in cursor, you got these old files, create a file called PRD.txt and paste the content there. You can review it and change it based on your requirement. Now I need to create task list, taskmaster, and then parse PRD, then PRD.txt. That's the content of the file. So I'm just choosing that and clicking enter. Now it's completely using Olama and it's for free. So Taskmaster using Olama. Now 10 tasks got created and you can see the summary here. 
It used Olama Quen3 and it cost zero. Task generated successfully. Now I can leave the task by going task master list and you see the list here, all the list of steps. Now to implement this, I again tried using Olama from Roo code by configuring Olama as the API provider and Quen3. But considering Quen3 is a small model locally running on my computer, it wasn't able to do the task. But Olama successfully created the task list using Taskmaster. So Taskmaster Olama is working fine. But to create the project, I'm going to use cursor again. So there I'm going to say, start working on the project one by one by following Taskmaster list and Taskmaster next. And then clicking enter. So by default, cursor has cursor rules. That is dot cursor and you got the rules here. So it's going to follow these cursor rules. This is automatically generated by the Taskmaster as you can see here. So you didn't do anything. All these files, basic rules and configuration files created by Taskmaster. So it supports cursor, windsurf, and Roo code. So this clearly explains what to do and how to code. Similarly, it can revisit its own task and update it based on this rule. And it's all pre-configured. If you want to use any of Anthropic models or Google model OpenAI models, then you might need to rename this .env.example to .env and then add your API key here to configure that. So at this state, if you want to change the model for Taskmaster, you can go back to your terminal, Taskmaster models and hyphen hyphen setup and then click enter. Now it will show you if you want to keep on using Olama or if you want to change the model. You can use any model using open router, but for now I'm going to keep it as it is. By the way, we can see that cursor started working on the project. You can also see the settings here. I chose this auto run mode that is previously called YOLO mode and it will automatically run the commands on your behalf. This will speed up your process. Now the process is all completed. So I'm going to view my application, Python app.py and then click enter. It's opening in this URL. And this is what I get right now. So I'm going to copy the error message and I'm going to paste it here and click send. Now it's fixing the issue. And I can see that it's fixed now. So viewing the application and here is the CRM application. And this is really nice. I can register. Seems like that setup is not completed yet. So I copy the error message and paste that here. And then it went on fixing the issue. Now I can see the register page as well. So home page and the register page. So I'm going to register that now. Clicking register. Seems like the user already exists. So I'm going to create another user and clicking register. And I can see registration successful, please log in. I'm going to log in again. And here is the dashboard with total number of users, total leads, total contacts and total companies, recent activity. And now we can improve that from here. So overall, this task master is able to divide the task or the main task into subtasks, then making it more efficient. But of course, if we use any other model, which are more powerful than our local Olama models, definitely the quality is going to be higher and we will get a better task as well. So overall, I'm impressed. If these tasks were created by an advanced model, probably even the error which we faced might not happen. And also if we subdivide this task further into subtasks, that will even further reduce the number of errors. So do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Taskmaster, I also created another video about Task Weaver. It's from Microsoft, an agentic framework, code-first agentic framework, which I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.